You mentioned so uh, Rob Cavallo produced this record. Very different sounding record than Bivouac, you know, or Unfun. Um, and before that, I mean, your biggest record would have been 24 Hour Revenge Therapy, and you made that with Steve Albini. What was so? Can you talk a little bit about the difference in approach? Like, I think so. The story goes: you made 24 uh, Hour Revenge Therapy in like three days or something, and Albini is like known for not really messing with what the band's doing, just trying to capture it. Um, and not written, you know, not changing arrangements and stuff. So what was, uh, what was, what was, what were those differences like? And why did you choose to go with Rob Cavallo? Uh, well, we knew it was a, I mean, it was a big deal because we had gotten a significant advance and like, there was a lot of expectation from people and from the label. So it was like, we had this budget. Um, so that decided we knew it was going to be a produced record. Like right. we were going to work with somebody and Rob had done Green Day and we, we met a bunch of producers, but he was the one that really clicked. Just like this guy seems like he can play guitar. He likes rock and roll. Like he likes hard music. Yeah. Um, and it, it just felt natural with him. And the differences were everything. Like, as you say, Albini was really just a, a very great engineer. That was his role in recording us was like, I'm going to just make it sound like you guys you know, audible. <laughs> I mean, you must have had that record completely finished and worked out. 24 Hour Revenge Therapy. Like, to, to pull that off in three days is kind of a remarkable feat. We did a lot of, uh, we did some discovery and there's some kind of spontaneous stuff. But also, we, we also re, we recorded Condition Oakland and Boat, I think, back in the Bay Area just because we didn't have, Condition Oakland wasn't really ready. It wasn't a song quite yet. Okay. Um, and I think boat we were missing. We couldn't get the cue to come back in. It was something we didn't do with Albini, so we just retracted it with Billy Anderson back in San Francisco. Ah, uh, I never knew that. Interesting. But even even in that seventy two hour kind of constraint, I I always think the cool stuff comes up in the studio, like where you're just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to sing this distorted backup vocal, and like ache. I think those kind of backups and ache were pretty much just like, I want to do a Richard Butler you know, call and response thing. And right. Okay. We did that. Yeah. 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 Did you guys ever play that song live? Ache? Yeah. Yeah, we did. We actually, we were doing it, um, recently. Oh, okay. Who sings the response or do you just, no one, but jump through it. Well, we did a shit. We, we played some shows with Waxahachie and, uh, and she sang, the duet with me. We did it as like a duet. Okay. So if I can find like an accompanist, accompanist, accompanist. Right. Someone, I like doing it with a woman because I think it's just a cool, you Like know, if Dolly always... Parton happens to be at the show, maybe you throw it in the set list. Sure. Perfect. Anyone who's, who's game. Yeah. <laughs> 